Hi everybody, welcome to the Jewel Family Farm. Today we're going to be making Irish soda bread. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I have uh, four cups of plain flour that I'm putting in here to sift. And then I'm going to put in one teaspoon of salt. I'll put one teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder. Arm and hammer, baking soda. Okay? I'm just going to sift that. You could use a sifter. I just like this because it's faster. It seems to me I can get more flour in it. You can't get as much flour in a sifter. This is four cups, so. It's pretty fast. and three quarters cups of buttermilk. I'm gonna just kind of fluff this up a little bit. Well, I made a mess back there. Didn't even see that. All right. Just kind of mixes all that stuff up. Fluffs it up a little bit. All right, we're gonna make a little well in here. Just gonna push this stuff back so I'm gonna make a little well, a little hole. Okay, we're gonna pour the buttermilk in there. And start mixing it around. Kind of like making biscuits in a way. You just kind of pull your dough into it. A lot of people use their hands. I just use a spoon. You can do it any way you want. The reason I'm making this soda bread today is because tomorrow I'm going to be making some fried soup. So you'll have to tune in for that. And I want this soda bread to go with it. plain flour. It's not self-rising flour and you need to use plain flour. Get it all mixed up. It's a little a little sticky but not not too much kind of get it worked up into a, a ball kind of like that it's not sticky okay so we're gonna put some flour down on this clean surface that I cleaned really well. And we're going to put it out on this and just kind of knead it a little bit. You don't want to knead it too much because you don't want it to get real stiff. You just want it to be not sticky. So you're not going to knead it a whole lot. You're going to get it up in a little round ball like this. And it doesn't have to be all that pretty. Get some of the stuff off my hand. Okay, put you a little bit more flour on it if you want to. 
Okay, I'm just going to have it up in a little ball like this. All right, now set this to the side for a second. Get some of this flour out of the way. Pull this over here so I don't get all messed up. wash my hands off a little bit. I have this turned upside down because we're going to put some parchment, but we have to, I have to make it round. So you're going to take this parchment paper, put it in half, then you're going to half it again, and you're just going to keep doing this, like get it to the point, and just keep making a point like that. Just keep doing that. Okay? Several times. Alright, so then what you do is going to look kind of like this. You're going to measure it from the middle of your skillet out to the end. And then you're going to cut it. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to spray with, um, spray the oil pan, I don't know what you call it, spray your, your, your cast iron pan, and then you're going to open this up, and you lay that in. There's several ways you can do this. You don't have to put parchment in it, and you can you can put it in a pan with some flour, you know, on the bottom of it, and just set your uh, dough on that and cook it. I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can do this. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna get a knife, and I'm gonna go across the middle. Put some flour on my knife. It starts sticking. Okay, you gotta go down in there pretty good. Then we're gonna go across it this way. Okay. And then we're gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna bake it on 425 for 30 minutes and then we're going to cover it and then we're going to bake it for another 15 minutes. All right, so let's put this in the oven. Okay, so uh, it's been in the oven for 30 minutes and I took it out. And here's what it looks like. And what we're going to do is, if you have a piece of foil, it, uh, you can put a piece of foil on the top of it. I don't have any foil, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put this on top, and then stick it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, so here it is, right out of the oven. It looks and smells delicious. Try to get this out of here. Move this pan out of the way so I don't get burn on it. So it's supposed to be crunchy. Sounds hollow. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Isn't that, isn't that a pretty piece of bread? All right, let me get a little plate and we'll cut it. I 
nice and crunchy on the bottom. That's good. Let's set this down here and cut it. delicious. Let's put a little bit of butter on it. I'm on a diet, but I'm going to eat it anyway. I'm going to take a little bite. That's really good. It almost tastes yeasty, but there's no yeast in it. it. Tastes like a yeast bread almost. It's nice and crunchy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Soft in the middle. Or you can see it. All right. Come back tomorrow. I'm going to make something called fried soup. It's an old family recipe. And it's really, really, really good. All right. See you tomorrow. Take care. Please like and subscribe. Count your blessings. And I'll see you tomorrow.